Hallelujah. Come on, we come to worship the name of Jesus. We glorify you, O oh God. We want to welcome you to the worship room. Hallelujah. We also like for you to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to like, share, share what God has given you. Share the gift. Hallelujah. Share this worship. Hallelujah. God is worthy of all the praise. Did you come to lift him up? Hallelujah. We just want to glorify you, Jesus. Come on, just take a minute just to worship him. Come on, lift it up. With your mouth, come on, open up your mouth and just tell the Lord thank you. We bless your holy name, oh God. Hallelujah. We surrender, oh God, to your will. Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord, for the mighty things that you have done, for the magical things that you're going to do, Heavenly Father, in our lives, Heavenly Father God, called miracles, Heavenly Father God, and we just praise your name, God. We lift you up, Heavenly Father God. We thank you, Lord, Heavenly Father, for keeping us from danger seen and unseen, Heavenly Father God. We thank you, Lord, for the mighty things that you are going to do in our lives, Heavenly Father God. Enter into this place right now, Lord. Enter into this place right now, God. Come on, somebody begin to lift their hands in the building. Somebody lift your hands in your house, in your kitchen, in your car, in your office space. And begin to give the Lord some praise. Begin to give him some worship. Because he is so rightfully due all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. Heavenly Father, God, thank you for keeping us, Lord. Thank you for healing us, Lord, God. We speak positive affirmations, God, over our lives, Heavenly Father, God, because you are in it, Lord. Without you, Lord, you will never fail, God. With you, God, we will always win. So we give you the glory and the praise, God. We give you the glory and the praise, God. You're our champion. You're our champion, Lord. Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your mighty works and for your mighty hand, Heavenly Father, God. And it is in this prayer, God, that we pray these things in Jesus' name. In Jesus Come on, somebody name. say, in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen.
Let's say you, Lord. Receive it all, 
all of my come on no no singing just give the lord some praise come on let's begin to worship him in here lord we bless your name you're our champion you are el shaddai hey you are elohim Jehovah Rapha. Hey, Jehovah Nisi. Come on, just begin to call his name. Hey. I will not be silent. I will always worship you. Hey, and I like this part right here. Long as I am breathing, I will always worship you. Come on, and I will, and I will not be silent. I will always worship you. As long as, as long as I am breathing. Hey, I will, I will always worship you. And I will not be, and I will not be.
get it in this atmosphere. Hey, 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 hey. Wherever you are, I want you just to slip your hands up. Ah, and enter into the healing that is in this moment. For I hear the Lord saying that this atmosphere is pregnant with what you need from God. God, we thank you <laughs> on this Friday, on this Sunday. Hallelujah. We thank you on this Sunday for what you are doing. We thank you, God, for your presence. We thank you for this worship. But most importantly, God, we thank you for life. <laughs> we thank you for health. We thank you for strength. We thank you for mercy. I want you, if you're watching online, I want you to tag two or three people that need a miracle from God. This morning is all about miracles. I hear the Lord saying while we worship. There is a portal of miracles that was made open while we worship. Invite two or three people into the broadcast, wherever you are. Don't be selfish. <laughs> Don't be selfish. Somebody needs atmospheres like this. There it is. That's it right there. Woo, that's it right there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're going to do communion. As a matter of fact, go ahead and get your elements. But Yahweh is in the room. Woo, what you need is in this atmosphere. What a way to set the atmosphere. And so, God, this morning, we bless your name. God, we honor you. We adore you. You are righteous and you are holy. You are all-knowing. You are the lover of our soul. So good morning and God bless you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the worship room. We are made up of over 25 states and five countries. And so whether you're in the room or whether you are streaming live, welcome, welcome, welcome to the worship room. It is our honor for you to worship with us. As many places as you could have logged on to, I believe that it was strategic that they logged on to the worship room this morning. What a privilege and an honor it is to be in the house of the Lord after a year of having to be at home. I will never again, Jeremiah, take for granted us being able to come into the house of the Lord. Pastor Erica, I was glad when they said unto us has a whole different meaning to me now. <laughs> See, we used to say that. We used to just kind of say, I was glad when they said unto us, let us come. But I, my soul is so glad. Woo! Come on, my soul is happy. My mind is regulated when I'm in the house. My mind is regulated when I'm in his presence. Come on, there is peace in the presence of God. There is joy in the presence of God. Come on here. Everything I need is made accessible when I come into his presence. So good morning, and God bless you again. Just a few announcements and we're going to get on with our service here. I just want to let you know by way of announcement that starting next Sunday, we are going to start our worship services at 10 a.m. Eastern time. I want you to say 10 a.m. 10 a.m. So I want you to prepare yourself. Our media team is going to be posting that out everywhere. So if you forget it today, you'll see it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So we're going to start our worship services starting next week at 10 a.m. Somebody shout inner circle, inner circle, inner circle. If you have not enrolled for the inner circle, this is our discipleship for the gifted. We meet every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Registration for the month of July is now open. It's about a hundred of us that meet every Monday night and we go deeper into the things of God. I believe that gifted people need a special kind of teaching. And it is from that place. Come on, am I right about it? Come on here. Say, I got people in the church this morning. Come on here. She said, all right, amen, amen, all right? And so go ahead, go to marcusrivers.org and make sure you register for the inner circle. Let me do this. I give an honor for all of those who were here in the sanctuary, all of our guests, all of our first-time visitors. We have visitors in the room, Pastor Erica. We, I love it, I love it, I love it. God bless you all for being here. And those who are online, we honor you and thank God for you as well. All right? Also, you've seen this notification. We are not having Thursday night services for the month of July. Someone say family time. I believe that it is important, not just during the summer, but during the week, that we set aside time to spend with our families. And whatever your family may look like, I want you to have those Thursday evenings off to spend time with your family. So there will be no Thursday night services. However, somebody say however. 
If you log on on Monday for the inner circle, you can be a part of discipleship for the gifted, all right? Let's go right into communion. Stay right there, man. You're good. I love that sound. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, I want you to grab your communion elements. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'll be honest with you. My heart is mourning for those who are in Florida, Surfside, Florida. Those who are intercessors, we understand that a building collapsed and many people have not been able to be found. I want you this morning, as we're taking communion, I want you to be so grateful for the life that you have. Could you imagine going away for vacation? <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Going away for vacation, going home. People were on vacation. And at this point, there's over 100 people that have been um, that have not been identified. Can we pray? Hallelujah. For those in Florida who are grieving. I talked about grieving to Worship Network Global Saturday and how many of us are grieving the loss of our normal. We're grieving the loss of loved ones, families, and friends, and jobs, and careers. As we take communion this morning, I count it as an honor and a privilege to take part in Holy Communion, the Holy Supper, the Last Supper, fellowship with Abba this morning. This communion is all about life. As we're reflecting on those in Florida, keep them in prayer that God strengthens them, that the rescue team is able to find who is able to be found, that there are survivors. I need intercessors to press in this week, and we need to be praying for those in Florida that are going through during this time. I wanted to be sensitive to that moment. Let's go right into communion. At this time, we're going to have a line. None of us pastors got a, a, a instructions or a manual for the pandemic, so we plowing through it, and we have in church anyway. If you're here online, just give me those flames of fire so that I know you are in the room, and we're getting ready to go into our scripture as we prepare ourselves to partake in Holy Communion. Pastor Erica, can you open this for me? Hallelujah. All right. I think those flames are fun. There we go. Y'all are back. Hallelujah. Y'all know how we do. We pioneer through these days. Hallelujah. The scripture I'm going to read for our communion is 1 Corinthians chapter 11. We're going to read verses 23 all the way to 28. Hallelujah. Prepare yourself to take communion at this time. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is broken for you. Do this in the remembrance of me. Somebody say, His body is broken for me. Thank you, Pastor Erica. Somebody say, his body is broken for me. Woo. Come on. He was wounded for my transgression. Another translation says, come on. He was wounded for me. Come on here. Come on here. He, he bore my sickness, my disease, my shortcoming, my proclivities, my infirmity. So as you're breaking this bread, come on here. We understand this to be the body. And so take ye this bread and eat in this manner. This we do in remembrance of him. And in the same manner, verse 25, he also took the cup after, after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant of my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. I want you at this time to drink your juice. And we understand that this is symbolic of the blood. This is symbolic of the blood. I want you to understand and in the comments, or if you're in the room, I just simply want you to say the blood. Who take that? The blood, the blood, the blood. Come on. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Take ye now. And it is in these moments we remember his sacrifice. Can you minister unto the Lord right here? Drops of blood from the hand of Jesus born on my sins cover all. Come on. He received the cross that 
Come on, I want you to worship wherever you are right here. Hallelujah. Come on. Woo. Come on. At the foot of the cross. Yeah. Yeah. Come on here. Yeah. Jesus, remember. Jesus, Jesus, remember. Come on, worship. Oh, at the foot of the cross. At the foot of the cross. I pray. Jesus, remember. Our, our tithing time. I want every tither. This is where you give back to the Lord that 10% of what he's allowed you to experience. If you've experienced increase this week, we want you to take this moment, every tither, and let me just say this. Thank you all for how you tithe and how you give. It is because of how you've given that we survived the pandemic in Jesus' name. I want you to know that it is with your giving and we give from a place of how we honor and love God. So every tither, I'm not going to belabor the moment. I want to hear the word myself. And so we're going to put the ways to give on the screen at this time. And I want you to partner during this time 
with your tithe. Wherever you are, we're going to give you 30 seconds. The cash app is on the screen, all right? That's Worship Room Church, dollar sign Worship Room Church. You can also go to marcusrivers.org, simply click on, click on give, or you can mail in your check. Many of you mail checks in weekly. We are so appreciative. We are asking that all of our giving remains electronic if you were in the building. And so if you will simply go to one of those four avenues. And of course, there's PayPal. All right. They're going to give us some, some just some happy giving music here. And the next voice you will hear will be that of our psalmist. And then after that, it will be none other than Pastor Erica Morton, our executive pastor. And I especially want to honor her husband for being here. Mr. Brother, Deacon, Bishop, I give you all those titles. Uh, Mr. Mr. Vernon, we bless you. We honor you for being here this morning. So I'm going to get out the way here. We're going to give you 30 seconds to give. Our psalmist will come, and then it will be that of Pastor Erica to close out our series. God bless you, and I love you. Holy Spirit, you are invited. Hallelujah. Come on, one more time. Say, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. We thank you, Jesus.
Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your is good and he's worthy to be praised. Amen. 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 Put your hands together in the sanctuary. Amen. God is good and he's worthy. Absolutely worthy to be praised. God is good. I want to take a moment and say thank you to Apostle Marcus for the opportunity to bring forth the word. Amen. We give honor where honors do. Amen. So we give honor to our apostle. Amen. In this place. Thank you for everybody that's on. If you can like, share, and invite, and tag. Tag somebody. Let them know that the worship room is on and the word is going forth. Amen. Like, share, and invite. Amen. If you're on YouTube, subscribe. Let somebody know that the worship room is here, that the worship room is in full effect. Amen. Ah, my God. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you again. I want to, before I do anything else, my honey bunch <laughs> is in the room on today. Uh, my, my honey, honey is in the room. So I want to thank my husband for coming out and supporting me on this morning. Amen. As I bring forth the word, you got my God. I'm just going to leave it right there. Amen. But this it, it's almost a won't God do it type moment. Amen. But God, God is good and he's worthy to be praised. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this moment in time. God, we thank you, God, for this Kairos moment. God, we thank you, God, and we count it a privilege and an honor to bring forth the word on this morning. Cause them to hear with their, with their hearts, God, and not just with their ears. God, we thank you and we praise you even now, God. God, oh God, that the word will go forth with boldness, clarity, and accuracy in the name of Jesus. That it will be rhema God it will be applicable to their lives in the name of Jesus God God I decrease God so you can increase God I decrease God so they no longer hear Erica but they hear you outside of me and through me in the matchless name of Jesus we pray amen amen I brought tears to my eyes before I even started Christ <laughs> Jesus to Christ. Well, God bless you. God bless you. We have been in the series Midway. Midway in the middle. Amen. And I don't know about you all. If you have not gotten the opportunity, go back and watch the replays. Amen. I'm going to do a little bit of a recap the way it came to Pastor Erica. Amen. So I'm going to do a little Pastor Erica recap. But go back and watch it for yourself. Watch the entire month. Go, we binge watch everything. Well, I implore you to binge watch the worship room. Amen. Binge watch the preaching. Amen. That's a good four hours right there. You go and it's a four, four and a half hours. Amen. Go and binge watch the, the worship room. Man, what an awesome series that we've had. 
Apostle has taught us, and we learned several key points in this series. He's pulled from the children of Israel. So we're going to talk about the children of Israel as well. Amen. We're going to follow suit on today. In the middle, we've learned that God is realigning. He has realigned us and we have given him. And in that realigning, he has given us and, and we're to give him a yes. What, what type of yes? What type of yes? Well, first, let me not skip the definition of realign. So I looked look that up. Amen change or restore to a different or former position or state so god is causing us to re re is again amen that's a prefix amen so he is causing us to realign quite often if we get to the middle we're a little off somewhere if we get to when we get to the middle we're trying to do it our way we're like the children of israel we're trying to do it our way he talked about giving my, he talked about moses and the burning bush and how moses uh gave god a yes he had every type of um excuse in the world amen god made and gave him provision and he still was like man but i don't speak well but man well what pharaoh gonna say and he said, tell them that I am, I am sent you. Tell them, huh? So you got, you got, God got your back, amen? You got reinforcements in the middle, amen? God is calling, causing you to say yes. He's causing you to give a yes, not with your mouth, not with your head, but with your heart, amen? With the things you do, with your actions. So in the middle is a realignment. And it first starts with a yes, an unconditional yes, a real yes, a yes from your heart, not from your head, but a yes with your heart. Moses gave him a yes with reservations, but he came back, he said, God, I'm going to do it. So then that walks obedience. So in your yes is obedience. Amen. Obedience. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understandings in your in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path be not wise in your own eyes fear the lord and turn away from evil amen so we know the children of israel god delivered them he delivered them out he go oh, he sent plague after plague until he made pharaoh say uncle pharaoh was like this uncle Jesus, okay, uncle, I'm, 